Welcome back, everyone. This is Elden Ring, and we're gonna do this catacomb. Still a little sick, but I feel better now. Only slightly, though. I need to remember not to fall on traps. I really like this game. Like, I've been hearing a lot of people giving it crap. I don't understand that, because I've, I've really, really enjoyed it. Nope, nothing underneath. Yo, I, I can understand people being like, oh, they just put the, the same bosses in all the time. I can understand that being annoying. But it doesn't particularly annoy me, because usually there's at least some... Oh, damn it. There's at least some variety to the boss in some way. Not always. The They could use the god skin guys just a little bit less. That would be good. Because those guys are really unique. <coughs> so having them all the time uh, makes it a little less fun. Man, these frickin' things use shitty tactics. Oh, I would have gotten a, a Estus there, but I didn't. Oh, well. Alrighty. Alrighty. Oh. Oh, yeah, I remember this. I remember this. There's Slimers. And then there's some Zombie Mins. And you gotta look out for the Trappers. And there's a big old nightman over there that we're not gonna deal with until we deal with all these guys. Yo! Oh! <coughs> uh, I knew it was gonna happen at some point. <laughs> Alright. Come on then. Oh. Oh, come on. That was the right move. I think got quite a bit of souls sitting up here. I forget. <coughs> You're bad at that. All right. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Okay. Oh, I don't have that many. Let's see. Nope. Oh, wow, and I was literally at the end. Look at that. Ugh. Okay, stop it. Well, I can't get to that. But... What if I can get under it? There's nothing underneath. Okay. Need a 
wider area. I pulled the switch, you bitch. Owie. Why am I not allowed to heal? Oh. Let's examine this room a little better. Out of stamina, try here. <laughs> because it's <a> chair. Wait a minute. I did not figure out how to get into that caged in bit. And that has all kinds of items. Be wary of crab. Ha. Huh. Underneath is a thing. I figured it out. Yay. <clears throat> Try down. And be wary of crap. Trying to move forward very slowly so I don't trigger a crab while I'm fighting these. Because <coughs> I don't need those as an add on a crab battle. Alright. Crabbo? Crabbo! Crab, you lore! Lord of crabs! I kind of like that they just can't handle having someone right there. <clears throat> I think that's a difference from Dark Souls 3. <clears throat> we fought on right on top of a trap panel and it didn't really end up being an issue. Ancient Dragon Apostle Cookbook 1. Oh, key item, stupid. Lightning Grease, Drawstring, Lightning Grease, Lightning Bone Arrow, Lightning Bone Arrow Fletch, and Lightning Bone Bolt. Nice. Door? Okay. Oh, here we go. And out we go. Watch out for the Slimers. <coughs> it is pointless to fly uh, to fight the slime. The slime is crazy. Ah, oh, he's using a. Uh, he's using the tooth. That looks really good when it splashes into the water like that. Ah, 
seems familiar. Oh, that was a small one. Oh, we don't want to go into the boss room yet. I want to rest at the grace first. Is there something that would give me better, like, damage? <laughs> Probably the dex knot. Hmm. That's interesting. And he has his charge attacks. Temporarily boost holy, temporarily boost lightning, fire, magic. Poise. Heal status and mix. I want to try that. <coughs> okay, so it hurts me. Yeah, I don't know why that's useful. I mean, it could do worse to others, but still, that's not, it's not worth it. <coughs> I don't really expect to need it for this boss fight, though. Because it's another guardian. He's got some pretty good resistance, though. Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, wow, that's new. Because I guess you can't spray that, so it's a shot. This makes sense for this one, because it's been very lightning themed. He's dead. <clears throat> Glove warp pickers bell bearing one. Well, you know, that, that'd be helpful at some point, but I think I've already got I think it, I'll, I think if you get a later one, it unlocks the early one, so I don't think that actually will do anything for me now. Because <coughs> I think I've already gotten two. <laughs> but we can go back to Castle Soul, and then I can, um, I can fight stuff. Can I alter this? No, I cannot. Don't. Oh. Oh, it takes the cape off. No, I like the cape. Why would you take the cape off? Why do they have all these ones where it's like, take the cape off? It's like, no, don't take the cape off. The cape off. The cape is the cool shit. If you want to add a cape, that's fine. So you can't get the, con the you can't get to the consecrated snowfield until you get the halet tree uh, thing. So we got to go here. <coughs> Oi.
So once we beat this boss... Okay, he's not following me. And here's my main thing. It's like, how do I beat this boss? Oh, it says an item. Oh, that's in the boss. Basically, when I beat the boss, I can go grab that. that headshot all right Let's do this. Oh. Wow. That was quick. Arrows are very useful. Let's see where this elevator goes this time. Because <coughs> it might be something where I can skip all this. If I do this. There's a bolt fire down here that I can use without getting any enemies. Hello? Oh, hello. Lots of slugs. Lots and lots of slugs. I should use, uh, I should use the, the flesh thing. That makes it so I can have big old tisms. Fan daggers. There's the walking mausoleum. Oh, hello. And that's why I like the two hits. Ah, oh, 
shit. Oh god. Wow. There's a whole area of this castle that I wasn't even aware of. <coughs> so that's not going to get me to a better thing. So we're just going to pound our head against the boss, get the hail it thing. And then uh, we'll do the rest of this castle. And then we'll go unlock the Halet tree. I like that he's looking right at me. I give him a headshot and nothing happens. It's kind of funny. Oh, he's going for a big hit. Big snow hit. Oh, wow. Mimic gears down. Whoa. Oh, wow. Yeah, and summon them. Guess we got him in a phase two. <clears throat> Whoa. Whoa. <coughs> oh, wow. It's a prosthetic leg. Wow. That guy's a freaking badass. Yeah, I'm not ready for any of that. I'm not ready for any of that. Because <laughs> even with help, I'm not doing it. So. Uh, what else am I going to do then? <coughs> ah. I guess we're going to look in Aeonia. Because that's an area that we haven't really done anything with. Wait, Gowrie's back? Gowrie left. We're going to go talk to him then. Because remember, the girl was there and was like... I couldn't talk to I I I couldn't thank him. I wanted to thank him, but I couldn't. Right. See, I assumed that the Halet tree would be over here. Because this seems like where the Halet tree would be. You know? Because <coughs> it's all the crazy rot stuff.
But they proved me wrong. Proved me wrong. I also haven't done met, uh, much in Dragonsboro either. Uh, I've got a. F yeah, he'll shoot at me while I'm doing. There. Happy? Hey, Gowry. Thank you kindly for giving the needle to Millicent. Now she too can begin her journey and stare her fate straight in the eye. You've been a saint through and through. As thanks, I vow to impart to you my knowledge of the lost sorceries of the Selians, descendants of the Eternal. Release the life sapping silver mist before the caster, dealing damage to all caught within, including the caster. <coughs> now, Celia, the eternal sitting below Celia, the uh, eternal city of Nokron sleeps. The sorcery originates from the maidens of that place. Uh, the Celian sorceries, the sorcerers were assassins, and it's said they often hunted their fellows. Near invisible projectile. That's going to be good for PvP. This sorcery can be used without delay after performing another action. And then Glintstone Stars. A sorcery of the Olivinus Compectus, which attracts sorcerers from, ta from Celia, Town of Sorcery. Then there's Pest Threads. A technique of the pale pests who crawl through the lands afflicted by Scarlet Rot. The abandoned children of the goddess. Do you have any? Uh, do you have an interest in rot incantations? Oh, it's they act. You actually get that projectile. That's interesting. Oh, you know that, <coughs> did you? Indeed, Millicent did visit this hovel of her own. It seems the memories eaten away by the rotting sickness yet remain, but faintly. However, she has no need of me anymore. No, she must embark on her journey and stare her fate in the eye. I mustn't impede. As I've aged, I've found the best way to aid the young is to be forgotten. Hmm. So, you gave Millicent a golden arm replacement. This is a wonderful development. Oh, yeah? Thank you for your kindness. Good. Now... Millicent may fully realize her true warrior's potential, like her beautiful mother. Well, then we know who her mother is. The girl, Millicent, she is a bud, green and undeveloped, waiting to flower into magnificence. What a wondrous day that will be. In truth, before her, I'd never seen a bud of such superior quality. She might very well outshine her sisters. Are the clean rot knights all women? So then she'd be... They're all daughters of... Uh... Uh, Michaela? <laughs> I like that Torrent is not... Uh, taking damage from Scarlet Rot. That's good. Lava, sure. But Scarlet Rot, no. And it's like, oh, okay. That's an interesting way to do that. <laughs> 